this is Francesca from Conscious Voltero. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. If you don't know me, I am a clairsentient tarot reader and Reiki healer. I also have services where I uh, deliver and distribute readings and uh, Reiki healings for love, for groups, or for personal. Today's reading is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and be talking about the situation and the trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. There's been a lot of uh, side videos of psychologists, lawyers making their inputs and opinions on what's going to transpire, why this is happening. But I'm going to give you guys a spiritual insight from a reader and also someone that is very intuitive. Um, so before we get it started, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, if you guys want a personal reading um, on love and relationships, career and finances, spiritual and life path, or just general messages for personal transformation, go to ConsciousVoltero.com and book your reading there. Don't forget to also check me out on Instagram. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it started. So first, I'm going to go ahead and start off as to why this is happening in Johnny Depp's life and what's the purpose um, with this situation with Amber Heard, why is this all uh, transpiring? Why has this happened? What is this trying to teach Johnny Depp? Uh, why did Johnny get Johnny Depp get to this place where he's going through so many tribulations with this female? And yeah, so I am seeing that um, Johnny Depp actually went against his destiny. He went against his North Node um, because Johnny Depp potentially at the moment when he met Amber Heard had a lot of pressure on his um, mind, had a lot of pressure on his back when it came to his um, relationship with his previous partner, with his ex-wife. He could have felt very burdened by the responsibilities, very burdened by their connection. They could have been in a long lasting relationship um, that he was kind of bored of. Um, he had a lot of um, addictions that kept him in wishful thinking, kept him in also delusions that made him feel like the grass was greener on the other side. Um, I am seeing that Johnny, um, when he decided to leave his wife, it was a very impulsive decision. It was a decision that was all, uh, based off ego, desire, but it was also based off temptation. Amber, I do see alert um, and kind of seduced Johnny. Uh, to either break off with his wife or kind of choose him. Um, I do see that she could have played a lot of mind games uh, that resulted in him chasing her. And because Johnny Depp still had um, unreleased trauma or unhealed trauma, he still was dealing with codependency and addiction issues that led to him fearing abandonment that Amber wasn't going to pursue him. So he chased her and ended it off with his wife. I don't know the timeline how it happened, but I am seeing it, it was consecutive. Um, I am seeing that he was having a hard time committing and staying stable with his wife because the fact that they were together for so long and because he felt as though the, this connection with Amber was going to potentially renew him, was going to give him a clean slate. But in reality, it, it was literally the devil in disguise. He, he automatically entered into a connection that was very addictive it was very codependent it was a very controlling connection um in which he felt very bonded to excuse me he felt very bonded to i just burped because when i burp in my reading this is because um i'm picking up on the person's energy so johnny felt like he couldn't speak up he felt very confined with amber he felt very nervous as well he um in this connection what he was meant to learn is that he needed to let go of the addictions this this connection with amber was actually projecting the internal addictions that he had so she manifested into his life to actually teach him how to release codependency addictions um people pleasing tendencies um, self-abandonment um, tendencies, self-sabotage tendencies that stem from the fear of rejections, fear of abandonment. I was picking up that the abandonment comes from his father um, or the abandonment comes from childhood as well as he has mentioned that in the past. But overall, 
what this is trying to teach Johnny Depp and the reason why Johnny Depp went through this cycle with Amber Heard was so he could finally, at last, let go of the codependent cycles, the karmic cycles that he needed to uh, transmute and transcend in this lifetime. He also needed to learn a valuable lesson of commitment, stability, um, and also how to balance out his um yin and yang how to also uh create stability within his emotional body and how to also stand up for himself in the midst of potential manipulation uh one of his lessons here was um needing to stand up for himself and feeling like as though he was uh captivated by um the person that was alluring him aka amber so um he needed to go through series of uh deception and pain because that's what he also caused on to his um to his ex-wife he caused her a lot of pain he neglected her he abandoned her he created a lot of heartbreak and and grief so this connection was also a karmic um connection a karma uh, cycle that he needed to go through in order to identify what was true for him and also what really um it, he's meant to pursue and now he's learned a valuable lesson and i am seeing that now he's finally aligning himself again with um, his destiny and i am potentially seeing him recommitting to his ex-wife Okay, guys, so go, let's go ahead and continue. So now I'm going to move on to what really happened in the connection between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. What happened in their relationship? Who was Amber Heard in the relationship um, and who was Johnny Depp? So let's go ahead and see. So in between their connection, they both struggled with addiction. They both struggled with possession, obsession, codependency issues. They both were still trying to move on from their past lovers. So they were still clinging on to their past. So that's why they both had a lot of jealousy issues because they were kind of projecting their insecurities of abandonment onto each other since they were still both unconsciously holding on to other people that's kind of like what humans do <laughs> um they were both manipulating each other because they were both still wounded from the past let's go specifically to um amber um she had an agenda from the get-go did she fall in love with johnny yes was it sincere no it was superficial it was also something that um she felt she could get something out of it she was always looking for the next opportunity to seize she was also uh, always attempting to gaslight him or always in a power struggle because yes there was jealousy and envy but there was also a desire for her to take his power she was leeching onto his energy because she wanted his connections she wanted uh, the authority that he has and she felt as though if she leeched onto him and almost in a way possessed him she was gonna be able to possess the authority he has the connections he has the power he has um i do see that yes she was money hungry but she was mainly hungry for the fame as he has mentioned in the trials she was hungry for recognition um i also see that she she actually could have been um using either black magic or um sex magic to keep him tied in so anytime they would fight she would allure him and seduce him uh, with her body, with her sensations, with her movement. And that would keep him tied onto the connection and the possession and the control just became stronger and stronger. And he knew that there was a lot of red flags that his intuition was telling him, his friends were telling him. He could have been isolating himself a lot from his friends, uh, moving away from his old connections and his family. And they were telling him, like, hey, this is a red flag. Hey, um, this isn't healthy. You're not, you don't look as healthy. You're not um, as emotionally stable. But he was ignoring them because there was too much gaslighting coming from Amber's side. Amber uh, 
was someone that would always whisper things into Johnny's mind about everyone in Johnny's life. So she would always try to turn people against him or um, make him feel paranoid about other people. Also, Johnny would make plans with um, his friends and family, potentially like not include Amber. She would get so jealous. She would create havoc. She would start playing mind games, gaslighting him. Um, she would also stalk um, the people that he was affiliated with and potentially send them evil eyes, send them black magic, send them um, negative energy so they could kind of, in a way, be repelled from wanting to invest in Johnny or hang out with Johnny. Um, it was to the point that Amber's role in Johnny's life and their relationship was all she was really doing was clouding him making a lot of clouded judgment um kind of like creating a dark um i'm picking up like a really dark uh brownish color around his aura making him not attract as many opportunities she was weakening his energy making him more addictive um she wasn't supporting him in coming clean or in um getting sober she was in fact trying to um deep in his addictions through making him suffer emotionally through also depleting him of his life prana johnny depp is someone that um is very intuitive he's very intellectual um but he's also very spiritual like he's highly connected with mercury and mercury um this energy um <laughs> rules the mind so he's he is able to easily manifest things in his life because he's like a magician. As above, so below. He's able to kind of play with with his mind to the way where he's able to manifest things easily. And Amber is the opposite. So what Amber was doing to his energy is that she was um, harvesting his energy. But she was also removing that power that he had of manifesting things for himself, manifesting that ability to manifest things with his mind. So, um, that was her role in his life. She was also physically abusive. Um, she would, um, make him feel crazy. Like she would physically abuse him and then apologize and then um, make it seem like it didn't happen or she would try to justify the abuse um, but she would overly smother him, give him a lot of affection, give him love, uh, sexual, a lot of sexual energy, a lot of people pleasing tendencies to change his perception about the abuse but it, that didn't work. All she was doing was gaslighting and he was seeing through it but it took him a long time to get out of this. Now, Johnny Depp's role in their connection. Excuse me, I was just drinking some water. Okay, so Johnny Depp's role in this connection, um, the way that he kind of like um, operated with her was very fair. He tried to be very open-minded, always give her the benefit of the doubt. That's why I see he kind of kept him, kept her in his life for so long. He kept a very open mind. Um, he was not stupid or oblivious to her abuse, but he's someone that's very fair-minded. He's also someone that um, has the philosophy in people being able to change, or he was aware that Amber could have had childhood trauma. She could have shared this, that she could have gone through a lot of like psychological damage or psychological issues in, when she was younger. And that kind of like kept her in some sort of uh, depression or some sort of anxiety uh, disorder. And so he was aware that she already had like childhood issues. So that's why he kept her around because he was potentially trying to save her. He was potentially trying to help her. He was also wanting to um, get her away from a dysfunctional family or a dysfunctional foundation. It seems as though she never really had... Um, strong emotional support she never really had a true love where it was long lasting and Johnny wanted to show her that hey like um, I can be someone that can give you the world I can be someone that you can have your happy uh, life with I can be someone that you can trust but there was so much power struggles there was so much strife there was so many challenges that he kept trying to fix the problems but then kept feeling defeated by her and he kept trying to 
you know, cooperate with her and people please her, but kept seeing that there was still this emotional discontentment that it just didn't make sense. Like, and it was like every full moon, he would have like a revelation, but because he was so in low frequency and low vibration because of his addiction, he, he stayed possessed by her dark energy. He stayed obsessed with her. He stayed in this codependent cycle and he kind of almost suspended his own intuition and his own consciousness and his own willpower to really um, communicate effectively so, so she can, I'm sorry, so he can heal uh, the abuse, so he could heal um, the root of the issue, which was her narcissistic tendencies, um, her tendencies to um, to abuse and gaslight. Um, I do see that uh, he could have people pleased her um, in order to maintain a happy dynamic because he did abandon um, his other connection. He felt like he was already invested in this. So it was like he was having that uh, philosophy or that mindset of like, I'm going to give it my all because I already lost, you know, my other relationship. I already left it behind. So I do see that um, he uh, juggled this for so long, um, but he was also um, willingly and deliberately shutting off the red flags, kind of being blinded to what he knew was unjust and unfair um, because he just wanted to maintain stability for himself. He wanted to show the world that he was happy. So he was also putting up a facade because he didn't know what else to do, but internally and in his dreams and his intuition the entire time was quite aware. So his role was very innocent. He was also someone that stood up for himself. If there was any sort of disagreement or um, argument or power struggle, I am seeing that he would like automatically retreat as he has mentioned in the trials, but that was his, that was his coping mechanism in order to... Um, not make this connection fall apart he felt like that was the most appropriate way uh so this connection wouldn't uh, blow up in his face and so he can maintain his own emotional stability but overall johnny depp was someone that was um consciously shutting off his intuition in order to maintain um this stable connection but in reality, it was not emotionally stable. And uh, he hid this from the world for a long time. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move on to who is going to win and what's going to transpire on uh, May 27th on Friday. And let's see. Okay, there, guys. So as you guys have imagined, Johnny Depp is going to win. I am making the prediction that he is going to win the case and the trial tomorrow. I am very confident in this, not only because what's transpiring, but also because my intuition tells me, the angels are telling me, and there's just no way. So let's go ahead and um, begin. So I am seeing that what the jury is seeing and what they have seen um, in the last four weeks has really um, helped them alter their perception Um about the evidence that Amber has um, provided in the last few uh, months and years. The jury has um, changed their perception about the validity and the uh, plausible uh, truth that they once thought, like the photos, her, the testimonies that her, her people did. They're changing their perception about it and they're realizing that hey, this may not be the case because the evidence that Johnny Depp is not providing um, is really helping them overcome um, the way that Amber was trying to condition the jury and the entire world. Amber, for a long time, was conditioning the world to make the world believe that Johnny Depp was a woman beater, that he was an abusive person, that he physically abused her. But because there were so many articles, so many events so many people subscribing to that belief everyone was conditioned to believe it because we're all connected in the quantum field we're all connected in this in this world you know in the quantum field we're all connected consciously so if you begin to subscribe to a belief many people will also subscribe to that belief it's also known as a psychological phenomenon such as the bandwagon effect 
that's why a lot of people follow the herd because they just want to conform basic um human behavior but um the jury is now replaying the events replaying the um, the, the testimonies replaying the evidence that amber provided and realizing that hey this is a an outdated thought this is not valid this is um irrelevant this is fake this is a fraud so the jury and the judge had to wait in order to really make this decision i am seeing they're 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 picking up a lot about what has happened in the past recollecting the images making a cohesive um decision and the decision is going to be yes that johnny depp is innocent and amber heard is guilty there has been a complete uh, transformation of the jury's mind, of the public's mind as well. Um, and it's happening. I am seeing that um, it's going to be a huge win uh, for Johnny Depp where he is going to go through a massive breakthrough. I am seeing like God is on his side. The universe is on his side. I don't know if you guys have been watching the trials, but during the trials, if you guys look back into the videos, um the sun shines directly onto Johnny Depp's team. Not Amber Heard's team, directly onto Johnny Depp's team. And I have like some of my tarot cards on the side because I'm reading based off the cards. And guess what card came out? The sun, which is all about illuminating the truth. It's all about healing. It's all about justice. It's, it's, it's really about clarity. And right next to the sun is the judgment. It's Archangel Gabriel protecting Johnny Depp making sure that his truth is um, illuminated, it's spoken, that the decision, the right de decision is made and that he gets his justice. And um, it's unstoppable. It's also destined with the Wheel of Fortune here. This is destined for jo Johnny Depp's life uh, to change, for him to have a fortunate turn of events that's going to transpire. Um, I am also seeing that... Um, the old way that people were perceiving Johnny Depp is, is going to get a shattered. Our beliefs around Johnny Depp are going to be completely renewed. And um, the way that we once thought of him, the way that we neglected him, the way that other organizations, uh, partnerships, um, media, industries, the way that they neglected him, they're really going to go through massive of changes they're going to go through ego deaths they're going to also go through some of them are going to go through a lot of shadow work where they're gonna not really appreciate who he is and but they're some of them are going to feel ashamed ashamed of themselves they're going to potentially apologize to him he, johnny Depp is going to be receiving a lot a lot a lot of apologies especially from these corporations or industries or agencies that neglected him or pushed him away uh possibly also friends and family not close friends and family because i'm seeing his close friends and family knew he was innocent but other people in his life they're gonna be coming back uh, but a lot of people are gonna have major revelations and a transformation of the mind a change of mind when it comes to johnny um and this is gonna help people also learn a valuable life lesson that you can't just listen to rumors you can't just you know, uh, believe what people say. You can't believe what you hear on the television. You can't just believe what the government officials are saying. You can't just believe what a influencer is telling you. You can't just take it as a fact uh, because they're popular or because they're pretty or because, you know, they're rich. Um, you always have to question. You, ha you also always have to, you know, listen to your intuition. And I feel like intuitively a lot of people knew um, especially Disney. Disney knew that Johnny Depp wouldn't do such a thing, but because of the bad press, um, they conformed to releasing him from the contract of Pirates of, of the Caribbean contract. So, point is, is that Johnny Depp is now going to be going through a lot of healing. He's going to be growing. He's now going to be evolving into the next phase of his life. And for this snake, for Amber Heard. Uh, she's going to be going through denial. I am seeing, uh, but she's going to be getting her tough karma here with the justice card. Uh, she's going to be receiving exactly what um, she sowed. Uh, she's going to be reaping what she sowed. And uh, she's going to be getting a lot of neglect, a lot of backlash. Like I am seeing protests happening here. <laughs> um, a lot of criticism, a lot of cynicism. I am seeing her potentially hiding out here. Um... 
I am also seeing that if people employed her, she's going to get unemployed, like, right away. So, potentially getting out of Aquaman, like, immediately, or her contract being uh, voided. I also see her going through a lot of discord in the media, on, on the internet, but also just, like, with people in her life, like, she may be ghosted. Um, I also do see that there will be a trial for her to go potentially to jail or to get some sort of psychological help. So, um, Amber Heard may be getting jail time here, um, but um, she may also uh, plead either another case. Like, I am seeing her being very persistent. Like, she may be in denial to the point where she's not going to accept that he won, and she's still going to try to pull some tricks up her sleeves. She's still going to try to seem as innocent. Like, I don't see her admitting even if she is guilty. She's not really going to admit to it. But her funds are going to be really low to the point where um, she's going to potentially have to take out a lot of loans to even get get her quote-unquote justice. She's not going to have much options. All she's going to be left with is to self-soothe uh, herself with um, with her circumstances. Um I honestly don't see her getting any jail time. Like she may get the um, get out of jail free card, <laughs> um, like you know, in Monopoly. Um, but I do see her potentially going bankrupt or needing to take out a lot of loans to uh, continue either fighting this case, um, you know, some way somehow, or redeeming her um, her identity and her reputation. Um, and then I do see that if she does get jail time, the, um, the bailout is going to be a lot to the point like where she's going to lose a lot of funds. Um, and then I do see her potentially by the end of the year, finally admitting it. Uh, she's going to be very cowardly to admit it for these next few months. But by the end of the year, I do see her finally admitting it that all along, uh, she was money hungry all along, uh, you know, she stole she stole um, the divorce settlement and she never really donated it. And then all along, the, she did um, enable an abusive connection. She was the one that was argumentative, had attitudes, and was physically aggressive and passive. So um, justice for Johnny Depp. He is going to win. Um, this is also just a wake-up call for, for many people. If you have someone in your life, that has been abusive towards you has been manipulative whether like you realize it or not like some people can be manipulative in ways that you don't even realize like some people can uh for example um push you away from someone uh by talking shit about them gossiping um making problems worse than what they really are um you know magnifying issues um uh, another form of manipulation is gaslighting, also per personifying and projecting. A lot of people will be so jealous that, you know, you love someone else or that you're into someone else to the point where they'll they'll bring up that person's issues um, to try to make you feel like you need to get away from that other person. But in reality, um, they're being manipulated. Um, you know, a lot of people can get manipulated in many different ways. It all depends on, you know, what what's going on in your life and what you resonate with but this is just a very valuable lesson for you to stand up for yourself and never really um, allow any sort of emotional especially physical abuse in your life and really um, always stand in your truth and at the end of the day in Johnny Depp's closing statement when he said I'm here to finally say my truth and at the end of the day whatever happens happens but at least I spoke my truth I just saw 111 on the clock so spirit is really protecting him Anyways, um, he really, um, Johnny Depp really uh, was seen as innocent when he said that. And you can just hear the authenticity in his voice. And my advice for you guys and really what I'm just trying to say is that don't wait for, for um, the abuse to prolong for you to finally stand up for yourself. Don't, don't uh, conform or stay comfortable in a manipulative, manipulative situation just because um, you feel powerless to stand up for yourself, speak up um, and stand up for yourself because that's all you have and really um, harness your power and give love to those that are deserving of it. And um, 
yeah so if you guys enjoyed this and you guys would love a specific reading for yourself in any area of your life whether it's love if you want specific messages about how your partner thinks and feels about you or just general guidance on how to improve your guys connection and relationship you, you can go to consciousfulterro.com and book your reading there i also have reiki services my most popular reiki service is my love reiki service which actually helps um individuals get back into communication or clear out any sort of interference codependency issues um and any sort of imbalances i also do readings um in career and finances and spiritual life path and more you can check me out on instagram and i hope you guys enjoy the reading namaste bye